This is a rapid fire round with Kasturi on She Slays for Echelon. So Kasturi, to get us started, um, how do you usually start your day? That's the easy one, I think. Um, so I start with the exercise, um, then prayer or church, and then start the day working. I before that I missed one thing. I go and see my mum who lives in the house next to next door. That's about it. All right. Next one. What's the last thing that made you laugh? Last thing was this. Sh- I did a shoot for the Echelon, <laughs> which was absolutely out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Nice. That's good to hear that, and good to have been a part of it. What would you say to your younger self, Kasuri? Yeah, I guess I would say, you know what, it'll turn out okay. I wish that younger self hadn't worried and cried so much when things went wrong, but it would turn out okay, so not to worry. Beautiful. Um, which song best describes you? I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. All right, power on. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite quotes or words to live by? I have one personally, is be the change you want to see in the world. Um, on a corporate side, I think I use this all the time. What got you here is not going to get you there. So I could, it's Marshall Goldsmith's. Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. fantastic. And what does being a female mean to you? It's a tag of a gender, but for me, it's being able to be who I am. And, um, and what goes with the package of me being a female means I'll be passionate about stuff. I'll be very emotional. I, I can swing from being sad to happy to getting angry when things are not done. But that's, and we have a high level of empathy, but that's my package. And, and, but with that package, I can, I can do what I have to do. Being able to be yourself and do, do a job in whichever, whichever gender can do that job, but without changing yourself is being feminine for me. That's, I think, yeah, the answer I will live by. <laughs> um, what's one thing in your bucket list that you would wish to do? I think to go, I will be talking about it with borders opening, go to Rwanda and be with the gorillas, uh, up close and personal. All right. So should do that in the next two years. We're looking forward for pictures. Yeah. What's your guilty pressure? Okay. I'll, I'll, the easy one is um, my... Uh, Deserts. I, I technically try to avoid sweets, but I kind of hold back all the no sugar on tea or tea and coffee and stuff, and I end up having a dark chocolate or something like that. I, I just, that's my guilty pleasure. Great. Um, what would your perfect Saturday be like? Yeah. So that's the feminine side of it. Okay, it starts with me doing yoga and whatever, but I like my time. I need my time at uh, either. I, get a massage or I do my salon stuff, um, uh, just feel good about myself, spending time on myself and alone. So yeah, just uh, taking care of myself for that kind of way. So it's whether it's a spa or whether it's a salon or massage or yeah, it's for me. In your words, describe feminism. Live your dreams, do what you want to do without having any constraint, just constraints by being a female. So if you want to go and live your, unleash your potential, just being a female shouldn't hold you back. So feminism is you being able to unleash your potential and do what you dream about doing and want to do. And what is your deepest fear? Heights. Really? It, it transforms in lots of ways. In, in uh, um, looking down and I see I, I climbing, but you know, simple things like um, doing a headstand means you fall down, right? That, those small things. So the fear of heights, it's a, it's a big barrier in doing lots of stuff. I can swim, but when I go into the deep end, the fear of heights keeps me back. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, what other jobs would you take instead of the one that you have right now? A travel guide so that I can see the world. <laughs> Retirement plan. Um, what was the last advice you gave someone? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's mainly I think uh, with all the tough things which go on in the in the environment currently, I think our younger staff who take who have larger roles, they you know they, we give the young talent opportunities. I've kind of suggested I've been advising them to take it in bite-sized pieces. Don't solve this complete puzzle. Don't think you have to solve everything. 
take a bite, solve it. If you might open up and you know think about a new solution tomorrow. Encouraging them not to pressurize them to serve too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what words of wisdom did your mother or grandmother share with you? It was both my mother because my grandma was. I think she passed away when us. Actually, she didn't give me too much of advice, but but only showed love to us. My mother um, said uh, she had one thing of me getting a qualification. A woman has to have a qualification, uh, and that was not necessary to have a career. It was simply to be able to be financially independent if the need arose. Simply as that. Simple. And second thing was don't learn to cook because you'll become a slave in the kitchen. <laughs> I wish someone told me that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, last question. Do you experience resistance when you're leading men? Remember, I've been over time, right? I've, I've, I've been leading teams, uh, predominantly male, uh, rep more male representatives in the teams. But um, I wouldn't say, I don't think it's resistance, but it was um, kind of weariness of where does the power lie? Is it a power struggle or is it just a person doing her job? So. I think there was weariness, but to be fair, now I don't feel it at all. I just, you know, it's each one has a role to do. I may be having the lead, the title of a leader, but I wouldn't be able to get in anything done because they need to be able to do their work. So it's not about being the boss. It's about all of us doing our part to um, achieve what we set out to do.